Hey everyone, welcome back to The Knighthood. I just wanted to say thanks to all who watched my War of the Ring painting videos and subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. I'm going to show off the minis from the Warriors of Middle-Earth expansion, which adds six new factions, each containing eight identical pieces, as well as the from the Lords of Middle-Earth expansion, which adds eight new character minis. Okay, from the Warriors of Middle-Earth expansion, we have the Ents of Fangorn. Who doesn't love the Ents? These guys look awesome. They're tall. They've got the rock in hand. They're ready for a fight. Then we have the Dead Men of Dunharrow. I'm excited to try and get that skeletal body to really pop, uh, you know, with the with the negative space and then the green aura. Then of course we have our Eagles of the Misty Mountains, AKA plot devices. Uh, I'm hoping I get the feathering right. Uh, might have to use some, some special techniques there. Next we have the Broods of Shalab from the front and the back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on texturing here. We got some darker minis uh, to work with. The Hillmen of Dunland. These are the most similar to the minis from the base set, so these will probably be the most annoying to paint. Uh, and then we have the Corsairs of Umbar, which uh, they're very large, so I'm, I'm hoping that makes life a little easier, but there's still some fine details here that I'd like to get right. Now moving into the Lords of Middle-Earth expansion, we have Lord Elrond of Rivendell. Uh, we'll most likely just use the movies as a inspiration for color palette here for this mini. And we also have Lady Galadriel. Uh, the thing I like about this mini is that her water basin has the Eye of Sauron embossed into it, so bringing that out with some colors I think will be fun. We also have a Gandalf the White mini on horseback. Uh, I'm super excited to have both Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White minis in the board game set. We also have an alternate of Strider slash Aragorn, so similar case there. We have King Aragorn and Strider, one mounted and one not. Same story for the Witch King. We have a mounted Witch King mini on top of a Nazgul here, still searching for the One Ring. Again, have to get those uh, black shadings correct. And an unmounted version of the Mouth of Sauron. Um, I'm excited to bring back some, some purple and gold like we did for the, the mounted version in the base set. Then we have Gothmog, Lieutenant of Morgul, um, a character I was unfamiliar with until this expansion, who's not shown in the movies, I believe. And finally, the coolest mini from these expansions, the Balrog of Moria. I mean, I don't even think it's close. So excited to paint this one uh, and hope I do it justice. So let me know in the comments which new faction or character you're most excited to see painted. After I've completed painting all of the expansion minis, I'm going to start painting the 24 landmark models I was gifted. They don't affect the rules in any way, but I think the game will look spectacular when they're all painted. See you in the next video.